Hello, my name is Flo Every, and welcome back to another Quick Harvest. Uh, last one, we did a Quick Harvest on good old Ender Lilies, a little Metroidvania that came out a while back. I actually found out that the sequel that came out recently was actually in early access. It wasn't fully released, so probably could I play that now or not when it first came out, because doing a Quick Harvest on the game that's in early access is always off to me, because it isn't complete. I don't really play a lot of early access games because of that but we're not playing that today we're playing another crab's treasure i wanted to do this at some point i was wondering whether to do this later in the playthrough or earlier but i've done a section of this on my own and i've gotten to a good point i think to just showcase this game and its strengths and weaknesses i guess uh i yes i did about an hour and a half i would say fought the first big boss and we've now been put on a mission by the queen to go and explore the ocean and find a gem for them so this game's about capitalism and taxes um that that is probably the best way i can describe it it's a souls like about underwater capitalism and how uh, unfortunately everyone's been stuck in this cycle and a loop of having to give the queen money to be able to live in here but they're always going to be suffering and because of that suffering they have become basic enemies that you have to fight out in the world and here we are little crab boy little hermit crab boy and the reason why we're here and not, you know, living our, our life high on the, the reefs above is because we got our shell stolen by a loan shark and we need to get it back. So currently we're working with the queen to try and get the money needed to get our shell back at home, one might even call it. So first things first, this game's a Souls-like. What does that mean? Souls-like is a dark, gritty, atmospheric battle game with really difficult bosses and you get souls either for killing the bosses and they're usually just, they're, just, they're usually dark fantasy Liza P, uh, Neo, all usually along that spectrum this isn't very dark now is it? now don't let that fool you though this game is pretty difficult and it kind of uses the, the kind of light-hearted tone and also the colour scheme on its sleeves to try and lure you in because there's some pretty dark stuff in this, especially when it comes to like real world problems and capitalism. Um, I wouldn't say like it's as dark as Dark Souls, obviously. It's not like lots of character death. It's like, kind of like a PG Souls-like, and because of that, I love it. <laughs> it's something I haven't really seen before, like a Souls-like that is more kid-friendly and colourful. Yet, it still harbours a lot of the same themes, down to the weapon usage, the shrines, and other things we're going to get onto as we go along. So as a hermit crab, alongside of our main weapon, we also can pick up shells, shields, one might, one might even call them, that we can use to increase our defense, but also our weight. Now I think weight is based on your dog speed, so depending on what you pick up, it's going to be heavier or lighter, and of course it's going to make your dodging easier or worse. But I just kind of wanted to showcase this game for a little bit now, now that I've done the preamble. I'm also trying to get better at doing these introductory parts of the quick harvest, because it's less so just like a little excerpt of the game at this point it's more so me giving an overall review of the experience because it's surprisingly difficult to do the reviews i found uh, i don't have time for them for the most part but doing these is easier actually it takes far less time and i quite like doing them i like doing the little episodes on this just to show what games i'm currently playing uh sandland i think i'm gonna be putting on hiatus <laughs> uh, i'm liking it a lot but it's a lot longer than i was expecting it to be um, let, let's just say. In fact, no, Sandland was the last week I was not Ender Lilies. Huh. I didn't realise I made another one. I mean, I, I, I made a few recently, so it's hard to keep track of which one I did, which one I did uh, last. But yeah, it was Sandland, I think. Anyway, we are currently on our way to some caves to go and retrieve a gem for the Queen. And we're going to get in that right now. Um, we also got a grappling hook right at the end of what I did last time. Oh, hello. The trash evolution is wonderful, isn't it? Seems like it was yesterday we were picking heart kelp out of the weeds with our bare hands. Truly, the advance of technology has been a boom for our society, with literally zero downsides. Wow, what a coincidence that all three of us share the same exact opinion on this. Hmm. Indubitably, our aligning political beliefs are what makes us the very best of friends. And very long-lasting friends as well, I assume. God, I didn't realise how baked into political intrigue this game would be, but I love it. It's good. Also, the designs of these guys are great. I especially enjoy the shrimp-like knights. 
and their six legs because that's what shrimp have. Although they might be crayfish, actually. No, I think they are crayfish because they've got the big, uh, man, uh, big, big claws. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to work out where I need to go, but I think it's, yeah, it's over here. But, yeah, this game is not necessarily the hardest Souls-like I've experienced so far. Then again, we've only done one boss, so it could get harder as I go along. But that's kind of the thing. I'm going to turn the game up a little bit because I think you guys can barely hear it. I thought it was too loud, but I think the title screen was just a lot louder than the actual game. Which, to be fair, I appreciate that about a title screen. It, like, showing how loud the volume is going to be is usually quite good because it means I can then gauge it and make the recording based around that. But yeah. I think this is it here. Yeah, and I see the shortcut and the hook we need to go onto. So I think we're going to do this cave area and I assume there's going to be a boss at the end of it. And that's what we're going to do for the quick harvest. I like having like a clear end for these, although it's difficult to work out for the most part because it might not end. But yeah, we've got a hook shot at the, at the end of my own session of this. It's difficult, right? Because um, I'm doing, obviously, marathons right now of Final Fantasy. And I've actually been given, given a chance now, now that I've finished 12, to do a few other things I haven't had a chance to do otherwise. Saying that, I am going to be starting X2 tomorrow. <laughs> so all the time I've had in the world might go away soon. So we'll see. Anyway, here's our first enemy. Here we go. So, we attack with this. I need to remember the controls, actually. So it's this. Dog tr okay, right. I don't have a shell, so I can't block. What oh, the one up. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is not the easiest crab to fight at the beginning of here. But that is one of the stronger ones, because some of them are decide in two hits. And some of them do not. I have already encountered a fair few uh, terrifying enemies. Okay, there we go. Now we got a can. Although, this isn't a soda can, it's a tin can. Shell shock. Yeah, what is what is shell shock? So, if we go into here, we can find out what this... Or not. I think we have to actually go back to the save point then. Which I'll show you at some point if you join this. Oh, God! Oh, wrong button. I am not the best person to do like a, a quick review of this game because I am not good at souls like as you can see right now. He's got like a spear! Look at that's what this thing you like rub your ears with, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it it's an ear ear pick? I don't know what those things are called. Good dodge on my part. Alright, don't dodge to the left. Come on. So we blocked it there. Oh you did two swings! You cheeky guy! You crab! Why, why, why are you mad? There we go. Oh no! I was gonna pick that up and use it. Damn it! So as you can see, we got a little hover jump, dude. This game's weirdly a little platformer as well, which I do quite enjoy. Admittedly, the platforming is not the best, but it also isn't terrible either. In an effort to cover his home, the plucky hermit crab ventures into a mysterious cave. Uh, who is this? This person's never talked before. This isn't like the game's narrator. I've never seen this person before. <laughs> but he quickly discovers that the return journey will be significantly more challenging. Uh, uh, hello? Who's talking? He approaches the ghostly figure in front of him. Moon snails actually exist, by the way. They have, like, a transparent uh, flesh. And you can see inside of them, and it's kind of cool. I am enjoying the amount of fish-based stuff here, even though I know there are certain people in the community who don't like this sort of thing. But I do like it. I like fish things. I mean, Soma's one of my favourite horror games ever. And I like that mainly because of the water aspect of it. Right, so here's one thing I absolutely adore in terms of the currency. It is absolutely genius. Microplastics. And it works because, of course, the enemies are going to have microplastics in them because that's the current state of the world in terms of pollution. <sighs> it's very bittersweet. I've got a lot for vitality because I always do that in Soul Sites because I die very quickly. I think I'm going to put one more in vitality because in terms of attack, we're fine for the most part here. And I'm assuming at some point we can level up our weapon. But we'll see. Anyway, Moon Cave. With the snail at the entrance of here. Hello. How's it going? Uh, hi. Uh, my name's Quill. Uh, 
Do you know of anything shiny in this cave? Something that might impress like a huge, beautiful crab lady. I don't know, you felt that way, Quill. Confused and desperate, the hermit crab begins begging help from strangers. Hey, I'm not desperate. Yet. Hmm, thus far, he has persevered by taking refuge in artifacts from beyond the waves. But to survive from here on out, he must awaken the currents inside of him. He must use magic, which I hope is what it is, what it is because that would be a great way of doing a harvest and introducing a new mechanic. He must access the power of Umami. Umami? Look, if there's some secret I should know about, could you please just tell me what it is? It's just been convoluted enough ever since I left the tide pool. Hmm, feeling petty pity for the helpless creature. The noble moon snail de deigns to awaken his latent abilities manually. Okay. Better not be messing with- Whoa! What the heck was that? I feel tingly, okay. The hermit crab dons a metal shell and feels a new ability awaken. I do? Yes, he does. Imami training. Shell spells. While charging your shell, press X to consume Imami charges and activate this unique sh shell spell. Use a Mami charge will generate slowly when you attack enemies with your f fork. Is a Mami type of coal? Because I've heard about that before. Fizzle. Did it. So what is this Mami stuff exactly? Hmm, the hermit crab continues into the cavern, excited to make use of this new ability. Uh, okay. Hmm, boy, I, I do. Wait, I wonder if, how much more clear text you have. God damn it. I would have made that go on forever. <laughs> a creature blocks the hermit crab's path. Immune to the physical attacks, it may only be dispatched by his newfound umami powers. Well, isn't that convenient? The noble moon snail denies any involvement in manufacturing this scenario. <laughs> this game's very charming so far. But there we go, I think we've. Oh no, we haven't. Okay, we need him hidden more. Right? So this thing he has- Oh, never mind. I was gonna say this- this- Also, I forgot what button attack was. Jesus Christ! Oh, excellent flower! Those are not dead yet. Oh, that restores it. Okay, I see. Makes the babble is you noise, that does. That's a homing attack as well. The once innocent hermit crab's ability to slaughter his enemies has increased dramatically. You have to put it that way? I mean, you have been killing all these creatures. He senses that the reward he seeks lies further in this cavern. I do feel a bit bad for killing the creatures in this game. Like, usually in the souls, like, they're, like, dead and have been re reanimated. Or, like, they are, like, the souls or the beings trapped in, like, a lifeless body, like an ender lilies. But in this game, they're just depressed. <laughs> depressed because of taxes and capitalism. I was like... Damn. No opportunity to, to evolve, huh? <laughs> as well as the opportunity to meet his newfound idol. The mysterious is an attractive moon snail in the flesh. Yes, I've got no choice. So you're like a hologram then? Wow. Sure do love Amami powers. Amami. I, I am kind of curious where that word comes from. Let's see if, if Google can work it out. And see if they can find out where the word uh, originates. So it's apparently a Japanese word uh, for the uh, sav savorness or like taste, basically. Uh, it has been described as being savory and is a characteristic of broths and cooked meat. Delicious. I mean, I had a broth today, a steak broth, and it was, it was yummy. So yeah, I, I fully understand that. Why is the magic system in this game? I am not sure. <laughs> is it like, are like crabs known? I mean, crab broth. I guess, right? You can have crab broth, it'll be delicious. And I guess from the cans, you would also make a broth. Pop off. Oh. I mean, I'll use it for a little bit, but... I like that it changes colour too, to our crab. But in terms of, like, style, and this, the whole, like, flow of the game, it is beautiful. I don't know who worked on this, this is their first game, but... Big ol' thumbs up from Flower here. I love his design, I love the art style. Gives me massive Hat and Times vibes, which is, a ve which is definitely a good thing. And I'm looking forward to playing more of this because it is excellent so far. 
a very charming little game that keeps innov innovating itself as well, the whole shell mechanic. Red Claw. Hello. I like the um the aerial attack you can do. I guess it's a spin move. I was able to do it there because they pop off. Pop off didn't use any magic though, or maybe they got maybe I got it back for killing the enemy. Maybe. I don't know how how Mami works. Maybe I missed a bit in the tutorial. I literally just got. Listen, it's a quick harvest. I'm trying to be more of like a more professional of these, but also I'm going to forget certain things things because I'm still me. I'm still the person who makes, uh, okay, yep, yeah, this is why. Don't trust me with anything. Oh, God. This is why I don't do recording full playthroughs of Souls likes. <laughs> but the anti Metroidvania, because the Metroidvanias, I'll just get too invested and I won't talk uh, during the actual recording. Uh, I like doing the RPGs because again, like th th there's a lot of story to go through, and I can actually do the do the voice acting for most part, or listen to the story as well. It was quite fun to do Rebirth because that is like the first time I've done like an open world game. I mean, I guess 15 counts. Oh no, it doesn't. 15. I was struggling. Okay. Yeah, let's keep Fizzle one. I think Fizzle is is considerably better and I also get the shell benefit as well from this. There's probably benefits using bottle cap in terms of getting an aerial attack down I guess but also mm, yum. Mm, yum, yum, yum. I'm good. Oh don't do that though. Don't do that though. Ah. And what have we learned today? That uh, has not back. Okay, healing. God oh, damn it. Wait, where have I got the ball cap? I lost a shell. Oh, good, good. This is a good start for me. Just dying constantly in the same exact spot. Try my best. Try my best. Also, just checking that recordings are all good because I've been having issues again uh, with, with, with recordings. Not massive ones, mainly in the terms of the the 12 recordings, the, the, the Alliance fade to 14 mainly because it turns out that my VTuber was on eternal frowny face during the entire Alliance phase. And that's not, not necessarily a bad thing because those Alliance raids were terrifying. I am not good at timing this at all. Okay. There we go. I want to save my magic for the more powerful one that's coming up. The guy that's giving me a lot of trouble. The Mega Crab. The Decapod. As Moana would say. The only reason I know that word. I'm gonna come here and do that. Oh, I get my shell back. That's why he did that. Uh, but to be fair, that worked out quite well because I was able to stun him with that. Nice. Did it count towards the stun gauge? So as you saw while we were fighting that enemy, he had a stun gauge, right? Where there were, a yellow bar was filling up. Kind of similar to the stagger system in, say, Lies of P or Sekiro. When that stagger gauge fills up, you can then go in for some damage and do a lot of damage during that set sequence. And it's a good rewarding strategy, and then you can just go pummel the enemy. Uh, but similar to Liza P, you have to get a charge attack in before you can do the final hit. I pressed the wrong button for this. You know why I'm doing that? Because Sandlands uh, combat is using the X buttons. Goddamn face buttons slash trigger buttons. I keep falling for it, and I'm always going to fall for it. Okay, well, we've got to go over here now. It's good to know you don't instantly die when you fall into the, into the abyss. I don't know how this game was going to handle that, but... Better than how Dark Souls handled it. Definitely. This is pretty. Big old cave area. Yeah, the, the style in this game is fantastic. I love it. For a small indie team, they knocked out of the park. 
I want to see if I can get the charge attack so you guys can see it. Let's try it on this one. Now I got hit, and so I lost the Saga Gauge. Wow, wow. I'm going to use this one for a little bit, because this one doesn't do as much damage, but it does increase the stagger quite quickly. Uh, can I jump on you? Okay, yeah, I can. I don't know why my brain suddenly went back to Born of Bread, where we had to use the uh, good old Yagi to get across the mushrooms. Oh, Born of Bread, I love that little game. Speaking of, uh, Paper Mario-esque games, uh, Thousand Year Door remake is coming out soon. Well, I should say Thousand Year Door is coming out soon, because Nintendo Gene has like a remake rather than an actual... No, I don't it's its own game rather than a remake. Oh, God! You try and talk during combat, Flower, and you end up dying. I mean, when can I talk? When I'm not in combat? Huh. Funny story. Oh, God, we've got to do this again. Okay, so sometimes they give you these things called moon jellies that basically allow you to get checkpoints in the level. But we didn't get one there. I'm not really sure how the moon jellies work, to be honest. Like, sometimes you get a checkpoint back to where you literally died, but other times it's just not. Oh, that's a shortcut. Okay, that's brilliant. Lovely. That's exactly what I want to see. So, you're probably wondering, how does this game handle death? Um, It's Souls-like rules. If you die, you lose all your souls and need to get them back before you die again. It's classic Souls-like. Uh, additionally, if you die, you lose your shell. So if you get, like, a really nice shell, uh, you're not going to get it back if you die again. So we're going to try and avoid that. I can't get enough hits in to do that anyway. Maybe. Oh, hello. Okay, now, 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 now. No, no. God fucking damn it. I just want to get a little charge attack in. <laughs> Please. That's what I want. The one gripe I have with this game so far is the controls are a little bit rough to get used to also that should have been i was aiming for the fuck oh no no okay <laughs> is this the last time i make a quick harvest on a souls like game i mean one of the first covers i did was on liza p and that was pain but that was also during the stream so i it was a little bit of a different setting to be honest i could just edit this out if i wanted to but i'm less inclined to do that than i would usually with a regular video because i like these being there's just this full pain playthroughs this full come at me bro i'm gonna die probably but who cares because it's fun why would i ever want to go for him You cheeky guy, you got uh, two hits. Oh, cheeky. How about second breakfast? Hmm, crab. I don't love crab. Oh, my fucking. Yeah, okay. Uh, not a big fan of that because I don't know where the fuck I am and these platforms are very small. Oh, God, he's right here. Get out of here. Okay, we need to heal. We get over here. He's gonna wish he was never born. What's the button? Okay, it's that button. All right. He's gonna go for two hits. Bye. Are you dead? Yes, I think he's alive down there. But you're alive, definitely. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, they are all going for two hits now. Also, I enjoy that noise, by the way. That's giving me massive Baba with you vibes. Just a warm, nice, bit, nice, beautiful bit of synth. What is this? Got glass shards. It has more defense and it's smaller. I, I can see no issues with this. Is 
this is. Oh, it's a scary one over there. We're probably gonna have to fight that one, to be honest, if I wanna if I wanna have fun. It's always two hits! I know it's two hits, but I'm not Oh, you only have three HP. I understand now. Okay. Bye. You're not dead down there though. Yeah, I got the microplastics from killing him. Worth noting that this is still an indie game, despite how nicely it's presented. There are going to be a few cracks and seams to it, but not too many so far. You look lovely, by the way. Oh god, that was quick as fucking hell! That was really quick. Hi, Moon Snail. How's it going? We'll go back there. And we're gonna fuck shit up. Nothing bad's gonna happen to us, don't you worry. <sighs> right. We're gonna get on this. We're gonna go over there and tell them how real Hermit Crab gets shit done. Because Hermit Crabs are great. They're little guys who chill out inside of sn snail shells and they like to chill out and don't want anyone to go near them. And they use like, they create little homes for themselves. It's adorable. And first, I, rel I relate to this hermit and the quest for a good home. You can easily kill these guys before they even get to hit him, which is nice. Oh my god. Yes! Press the wrong button! Yes! Hi. Holy fucking shit. Yay! Enjoy your trip, buddy. Nice. I like the bigger shells. <laughs> I, I want the bigger shell, just because it is easier. I'm gonna keep pressing the wrong button then, huh? That's just gonna be a continuous thing, that's just not gonna go away. I'm gonna keep pressing... Dodge roll instead of regular roll. Okay, I need to get my loot back first. That's, that's the main priority here. And then dodge. I can only go for one hit. Damn, yeah. Okay. What button is healing? That's the button. That is. Yeah, this game, the devs of this game know how to put, like, a timing- Oh, no! No! Buddy! Wait your turn! Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Really? There we go. Roll of two. Worked it out. We did it. We are the pro crab gamer. <laughs> I don't think we are though. But you did see back there, we broke one of those enemies guards. And I think doing that allows us to go in for a lot of good damage. And I enjoy doing it. It's a lot easier than just sitting here and trying to sway through their certain moves. There we go. Getting used to it. I'm learning. I'm a slow learner, but I'm learning. Oh my god, look at that guy. He's got a fucking comb. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with you right now. I'm just going to go down here. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey! That is the desired outcome. <laughs> Party hatter. Party time. Okay, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Crab. Not oh, Mr. Crabs. I'm SpongeBob. Weirdly, have not seen that much SpongeBob in my time. 
I understand. Okay, I see. That's what that's what that jellyfish is for. I was wondering why there was an island behind there for no apparent reason. But no, yeah, there's, an, there's a thing we can get to by going over there. I don't want to destroy this party here. I want to use like a fairy attack forever. <laughs> but I don't think we are going to get the chance to do that, unfortunately. No. No. Wrong fucking button. Oh, I need to fight you. Can you come down here? That'd be good. Hey, buddy. I'm going to come down here. There we go. Die for me. Can you do that for me? Can you die for me? I appreciate it. We're going to get up here and we're going to go on a jellyfish and see where it takes us. Yes. It's going to take us up. And then we're going to get all the goodies up there. Unless it's a terrifying monster and then we'll die. What's this pattern? I guess jellyfishes do kind of have that pattern, but not like this, though. So, I still can't use these, by the way, whatever these crystals are. The game hasn't told me what they do yet. Uh, I know that there's a level, level up tree in this, because I've seen this. Maybe I can do it back at the moon snail? But there's certainly been no text box for it, and I'm usually akin to assuming there's going to be because this game's been pretty good in the tutorial so far but we'll see we'll see how it goes Whee! Well, that was fun i smell a boss coming up or some level of boss spicy nando sauce boss i literally just noticed right now that there's a compass at the top left corner i didn't even know there was a compass <laughs> i don't know when i would ever use it to be fair like oh you're going northeast towards Urchin Kelp Forest or something. I don't know. Ah, they wouldn't be silly and put a boss here, would they? You know. They'd put a whole thing along the way. I still want to use the party hat. I don't care if this is a boss. I still want to use the party hat. Oh my god, he's got a giant fucking thing. He's great! Yes! Yay! Oh, double move. Oh, so did I not get the healing there? Uh oh. So this is the dog shit then. Holy fucking balls. That's a double, that's a double swing. Yeah, you can tell. Oh, triple swing! Ah! There's a full swing! I was ready for it, though. Is there any healing in this level? Also, the music for the boss fights are cra is crazy. I thought he broke his thing. He did make his thing! And now it's a fucking shank! That is brilliant! No! Oh, I one hp it. Hellstrom's not even here. <laughs> yes, of course I would. But this is the, well, well, oh my god, look at him. Well, I could probably do that without taking any damage because I worked out that, str that strength attacks are great here. I lost the party hat. Not happy. That move reminds me of the balloon move from Kingdom Hearts where you just put like lots of balloons and they start going. They did, look, his, his stagger's going up crazy during that though. Hi. Oh. God damn, that timing. Oh, we both went at the same exact time. Unfortunately, he was faster. Second boss, and we're already doing a four hit combo. Damn. Yeah, I'm not holding back. I don't blame them, to be fair. I do feel bad for a kid who sees this and wants to play. It's like, Dad, I, I saw this adorable little cra crab game that I thought I might check out. You you enjoy it, Sonny. And then they just start crying because, like, this boss is awful. That's what I'm going to start doing. Hi. 
I thought you were immediately- you are immediately starting. Okay. You can use to make some distance as well, that move. No, please! Please! Oh, fudge! Can't let me have anything, can you, game? Yeah, there goes the entire stack of gauge. Okay, good, good for you. Yeah, okay, I'm not a big fan of that. You can't chain the, 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 the charge attack. So you can't, you can't really do another one afterwards. It's like a weird cooldown afterwards. That's that's why I was getting a little screwed there because I tried to do the charge like immediately after doing the charge like again, again, but you can't. I mean, that's, that's 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 what the queen wants, isn't it? A pristine pearl. You wanted so resplendent, and that's what we have. Oh, you better have like some prophecy. You're gonna say like, yes, indeed, I will tell you the ways of capitalism. And how you may bypass them and find loopholes. The music gets all whirly whenever you go near those things. It feels very important. What is a mommy? I'm not gonna lie, snails kind of freak me out. <laughs> Especially ones this big, they're like giant slimes. But I don't really like mine slimes, like your fantasy slimes. Like giant fantasy slimes are great. Because they've got little googly eyes. But I don't like these ones because they've got the weird antenna and they have no eyes. So there's no semblance of humanity from them. They're just like awful things that are going to absorb you. At long last, the hermit crab lays eyes on the powerful, borderline sensual body. If this was a, a more adult game, they would have said sexual body. Of the moon snail. Hi. Uh, thanks for leading me here. Uh, I think the Duchess is really going to like this pearl, but I still need a way to get out of this cave. In order to progress, the Hermit Crab will need to further expand on his umami abilities and finally use that skill tree he was talking about earlier. Cool, how do I do that? I'm getting to it, like, damn, I mean, uh... The Hermit Crab closes his eyes and allows himself to become one with the ways. Do you like some D&D? &D? Do you, you DM? But like you would be. He notices the effect his body has on the currents around him and lets himself be changed by them in turn. Okay. Hey, when I close my eyes, I can start to see something. I see a tree? Some sort of tree of skills. Oh my god. Is there a skill tree? Teleportation. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Every single thing leaves currents in its way because it travels through the ocean. Be it a living person, a beast, a corpse, or even a piece of garbage. The life force of the ocean, the beating heart of the world. This phenomenon is known as Imami. If it's for the most, Imami currents that can be detected only by a chosen few. Even fewer, still, make use of them. Oh, the glowing purple stuff? I've seen that surrounding some big shells and crystals out there. Surprising. I guess I didn't need to dab you then. I mean, um, the Hermit Crab's training may progress faster than anticipated. He feels that perhaps if he entered a discarded moon snail shell, a new use for it might reveal itself. I guess because he's not in the shell is why I find them creepy. But like, when you go in, when you see a hermit crab in a shell and they like hide away from you when you're looking through snail shells, it's very adorable. Because they mean you no harm, they just want to be in their home and they want you to leave them alone. But also, like, when you see a snail, it's like, ugh. That's, that's always the feeling I get, like, ugh. 
Oh, they grow their, sh sh their snail shell and then they leave it. That's a cool way of doing these bonfires. But I was saying that they are very hard to see and find. Bill's attunement to Amadi will now enable him to walk between any moon snail shell he has previously visited. I've got exactly 1500. That implies I didn't take a pick up my loot. I don't think I picked up my loot. Oh, fudge. Uh, I mean, uh, let's get another in shell because I like the shell defenses and it is useful. Not that I use it a whole lot, to be fair. I guess I can go in here now and do more stuff. Oh, no, I, don't, I can't. <laughs> I need new skills to do that stuff. So weirdly, I'm not locked by currency right now, but more so just I don't have the skill for it. Is that it? Are we done here? The Hermit Crab returns, prepared to augment his abilities. Oh, I have to do it with you. An interesting. Parry. Release your block the moment an enemy strikes to perform a parry. Your shell won't take that much damage and... Release your block, not press your block. So I've got to let go? That's different. Let's get that. The Hermit Crab's shower is invaluable in protecting him from predators. But protection will not be enough to achieve his goals. He must first make his shower tall of aggression. He deflects his enemy's attacks, destabilizing and confusing them. How can such a small creature withstand such massive blows? It seems to defy the natural order. I don't know, buddy. I'm just a, I'm just a small guy. I'm a little guy. Oh, so you got a mid mid air dash now. The hermit crab moves like water itself, performing practical acts of, of acrobatics to avoid its predators. But one wrong move, and it could all be over. Like you're giving me like little little D and D things whenever I do this, and then skewer. Out in the open ocean, many creatures must take over another body in order to survive. The hermit crab has taken life many times already. But as the story escalates, so too must the violence. Uh, how much I got? I literally have enough for this one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, repost sounds like a probably a very useful thing to have alongside Parry. I will say. Almost acquired. The hermit crab's control over his shell does not stop with deflecting attacks. By redirecting their energy, he turns his opponent's strikes into his own. Suck. Oh, such. Calm down, flower. <laughs> such in depth battle strategy is rare in the ocean. Praise be to the noble moon snail, who taught him everything he knows. Thank you, Mr. Moon Snail. I will use this device. Oh, I can even refund the points. You're great. Okay, let me see how you do the block, because that... You have to let go! Okay. I think that's going to require a bit of practice. That jump move is great, though. Interesting. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I guess you're putting them off guard when you do that, and they're scared of you. But a, a, a parry is usually you're using the weapon to knock them back, or a shield to knock them back. And they get stunned by it. Important locations. That is a good thing to have. Is that telling me how much is in this area? Yeah, it is. Okay, right, I see. Well, that's good to know for, you know, cl completion's sake. <laughs> The Hermit Crab knows instinctively to return to this place whenever he faces danger beyond his abilities. I will! Thank you! While we're at it, can you tell me how taxes work? The Hermit Crab knows instinctively to stop pushing his luck. I mean, it would take like two seconds to tell me. I mean, it probably wouldn't actually. The poor little guy, he just, he just wants his house back. That's also fizzle. I mean, it makes sense because it's a soda can. Of course, they will do the move fizzle. For a second, I, lost, I thought I lost my sh my shell, but no, it just it's just gone. Also, do hermit crabs have tails? I 
Uh. 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 I just want to point out that this was very pleasant before and had the lovely music. It doesn't have the lovely music anymore. What's happening? What happened to this place? What about the taxes? You don't look like a man who's who knows about taxes to me. This isn't what I expected, in all honesty. <laughs> what happened to the castle? I've been standing watch my whole life. For what? Got nothing in return. Stupid, stupid. Hey, uh, excuse me. I've got to get back in and see the Duchess again. Keeps piling up. All the trash, all the work. Are you like... Okay, man. Sick of it. Sick to death of all of it. Oh, he's angry. It's all so worthless. See, this is what I meant by the enemies just being depressed little guys. You're gonna fight me now, aren't you? Yes, you are. Guess we can try the parry move now. Hi. That work? I love his sword. It's got it's a fucking ca uh, Pepsi can lid. That did the pie animation though. Come on. Do it again one more time. Ow. Too early. Oh. God damn it. I just wanted to have a bit of fun. We'll do it again, because I can I can dodge it at least. There we go. Sorry, buddy. It had to be done. We can't have depression in this town. <laughs> This looks great too. See, I kind of thought there might be a twist at some point, but not like this. Damn, what, what even happened to this place? Like, everyone just became depressed suddenly? Fought Slack Tide? Yeah. Ah! Ended up being a poet place with a quick harvest. Similar to end of the lilies. A bunch of like wacky things that didn't happen have happened to this. Ow, oh, rude. Music is really good. Very calming, despite, you know, how sad this all is right now. Ow, ow! Oh, rude! That was uncalled for! Yeah, that was that was probably going to happen there. He did a whole different move out of nowhere. What was I gonna do? Was that like a, a red aura around the screen? Is really weird. The background I have it like creates like two red auras. I I am very happy with the overlay. I think it's simple and works, and it allows me to have my webcam without taking too much of the screen up. Um. The resolution's a little bit lower, but you get also get the little background, and I like I like the blurry background. I don't know what it is about it, but it looks nice. I don't really want my shell back. My shell's not very good. I'll take it. Oh, I get it's, all his health come back, so that is useful then. There was a guy around here, if I remember correctly. There we go. We got the parry move. The reposting. Oh, after landing a power, you can go for that. I see. Right, understood. Right, let's find this guy. Hello. Oh. Oh, 
That's quite fun. There we go. Oh yeah, the giant banana peel. Oh, it's this it's this sized up, it isn't actually giant. So I think the enemies have like red eyes. Oh hello. The enemies with red eyes have uh, give you some jelly when you kill them, which is nice. Well it's not jelly. Uh umami when you kill them, the umami crystals. Yeah, we're making our way over here. Can I even make this jump? No, I need the grappling hook. I don't even know if this is the right way. I think it is. But yeah, that is uh, really fun. And you, I think you get... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting... I'm understanding the combat now and the flow of it a little bit. The whole, like, party system is changed all over. Who are you? Are you friend? It's a puffer fish. That puffer fish is either going to be like every uh, puffer, puffer fish in a, in a video game, or it's going to be unique. But if that guy starts inflating, then we're going to be in trouble. Maybe they turn the puffer fish into like um, explosive enemies. Like when they get near it, it's going to start exploding. I hope not. But I love puffer fish, they're great. I just wish that they could be left alone and don't get stressed. Real, real life facts are sad about that whole thing but it was funny in finding nemo so it was fine <laughs> are you friendly i don't think you are why are you like trapped to the ground uh that does not look good but i cannot fucking see anything right now game It would help if I could see anything. I don't even. Okay, we're not fighting you because I, I can't fucking see anything in this area. Bye. Well, if I am going to fight you, I need like a chance at least. Oh, damn it. No! Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the, um... Okay, okay, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the whole fact you can't queue up uh, charge attacks. Because it doesn't, it puts a situation there where you just can't do anything and you've got to wait until um, the charge wait, the char charge gets ready. Um, in Liza P, it, when, it, when the thing starts glowing, you can do it immediately. You can just you can just queue them up, but you can't do it in this game. It's a little bit annoying, admittedly. I'm not a big fan of that. <sighs> Even the atmosphere here has become depressing. This is what the world's gonna come to when capitalism takes over. I mean it already has, basically. Spoiler warning, it already has. Oh, well, I'm gonna avoid most fights here now. I think the glowing light enemies stay dead. I'm going to make that assumption. Oh my fucking god. Anyway, let's try and fight. I don't. Yeah, I can't really fight this enemy because of the camera. But we'll try our best and see how it goes. I did fall down here. Yay, party hat! That's why I needed to kill him earlier. It's party time. There is a save point over there. Or a bonfire, in fact. Can I even make that jump? I don't know if I can. I do want to go back down here and get my stuff. Yee. That's great. I only had one. How dare. There's three of them over here. Oh, they're tiny ones.
Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, I'm stronger. I don't know. We're gonna be we're gonna be going a pie hat. If you're gonna be giving me um, like a confetti gun, I'm going to be using it. Hi. How's it going? Eat this. Whoa! What the whoa 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 whoa. Too early, shit. Hi, how's it going? You doing good over there next to those pencils? You, I think you've broken, haven't you? you you've broken, you can't come towards me now. Oh, but you can still fucking hit me though. Ah! I pressed heal. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the repost either. I think having a repost that you have to immediately click afterwards kind of makes it less satisfying because you can just do it constantly. Like The way it worked in um, any other Souls-like is you get the stagger broken or you power them and then you get a nice big repost move for it. But making it like smaller ones kind of takes away from the oomph of it. And it does good damage, but also that, 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 that just makes a whole different way of playing like this parrying. Which again has its merits, but I'm not. I, I'd rather the game just stuck to one idea instead of making the parry a different way of fighting. Um, like if it was more baked into the actual combat, which it feels like a little bit, but also I don't know. We'll see. I don't have to repost all the time, I guess. Too there's also that fact. But I kind of want to because it's in the game. Oh god, you! Oh no! Really? I, I, the, the door! The door! Hmm. Am I meant to be going here? <laughs> I feel like it is. It doesn't feel like the end of the game. I don't know how long the game is, to be fair. We're gonna head back into here and we're gonna probably just avoid all the other enemies I fought up until this point just to get back there. But yeah. Okay. Definitely things I'm not a big fan of in the combat, but nothing like too serious. Like I think, I think the actual flow of the combat is fun. Uh, like using the magic system. And the whole shell mechanic is really cool too. But there are issues. I wasn't gonna pick up a shell at all, so that was a, that was a smart move on my part. But look how fast we are, we're so fast. That's a fast little guy. Right, we're not gonna go down there. We're just, we're just gonna skip like half the level. And I'm gonna go grab that before fighting this guy. Oh my god. You wanna like give me a chance? You have to be on it. Hi. Hi, you're not broken again, are you? I think you are. Damn. It does give you a lot of range for that repost, though, which is nice. Right, yeah, if you're going to be broken, I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> There's no point messing around or beating about the bush. Ah, I died right here. Yeah, it makes sense. Why was that one red but this one was blue? Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm getting pretty good at that. Can I not be here? Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, you lost your banana too. Okay, I got way too excited about that, but that was great. <laughs> I love the music here too. I mentioned it before, music is very atmospheric, but also very bubbly. A lot of electronic synth, and just a lot of uh, kind of upbeat sounding instruments, but also here, I can't see a bloody fucking thing game. Oh, buddy. I'm going to be taking that. Thank you. But they've, like, transformed the music into being a lot more tense now and foreboding. Like, what happened here? Did everyone just become really depressed all of a sudden? And realise that their world has kind of sucked? Because I don't understand, considering... Let's finally put one in the tap, shall we? I'm still going to be focusing on vitality, though. Yeah! Look, I'm just a very careful person when it comes to souls likes. I know I tend to die very easily, so having more health is usually good for me. Oh, so I think this is our stowaways. I haven't actually talked about stowaways in this game yet, but... Basically, stowaways are things we can equip. They're basically charms in this game, but they give you little benefits for having them equipped. What does this do? Give me two MGS. We don't actually have any MGS so far, but... Plus two attack. I love that. There's also adaptations. I don't know what those are. Am I going to become... I mean, how can I adapt? I'm a, I'm a crab. Crabs are perfect. They don't need to adapt. They're already perfect beings. Uh, this is the way I meant to, I think it is the way I meant to be going. This is like a, a non-off path, but a way out. Yeah, this is the way up. Oh, there's urchins everywhere. Is that what's happening? Are the urchins taking over? Are we actually doing like actual real world, like, sea, uh, kelp forest d uh, destruction? Because let me tell you about urchins and how awful they are. Good. What was happening there? Camo. Whoa! What's happening? Okay, d d game, calm down, calm down. It's okay. Your video game, you're allowed to be a video game. Look how fast we attack on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Go on. I'm not. Whoa! Let's try the banana peel for a little bit. I barely used it, Munch. Oh, that's a good way of getting HP back. That's pretty cool, actually. It's like, basically like a consumable item. How did that not hit you? Oh, bye. Oh, no, 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 please, please. Oh, my fuck. I tried everything to get out of there. I knew I was going to die. I was like, yeah, this is death. Because I knew that they were just going to stun lock me and just keep hitting me over and over again. I, yeah, I couldn't get out. I was stuck to be... Oh, buddy. Let me have your shell and get out of here. I want to get to the castle center. Uh, hi. Yeah, get out of here. No, my shell! Oh, I was going to use that. Why is there an affinity for Mami? Uh, shell spell damage. Very okay, well. I guess this kind of does have shell spell damage, doesn't it? Oh, we're down here. Wait, no, this is a new place. There's many ways I can go here, huh? 
Hi. I only wonder what way they want to fight two of you at once. Oh, you're stuck in there. Um, I'm not touching that, but sure. No. No. This is great. Just stand there and let me hit you. That is a weird glitch that is occurring there. Again, it's a small indie game. Uh, different way. Who am I taking one damage? But also, he's down, making it harder to avoid attacks. Well, that's, that's good. I'm not dodging anymore, and I'm, and I'm parrying, isn't it? Hey! Uh. Well, that was fun. I, I like the bowling ball, it's cool. Eh, we can't get into the main fortress, hence where we have to go around the rafters. I see, it's like Anno Londo, but Anno Crabbo. Oh no, Crabbo. They killed the crabs, all of them. They just wanted to go in the queue. They just wanted to pay their rent with whatever they could. And they're all dead. I wonder what killed them. Well, the fact that all the urchins are around here suggests to me it might be an urchin invasion. Like an alien invasion of urchins. But maybe that's not the case. I mean, they're all over the place. Yeah. I'm going to throw out a guess that it probably is urchins. Not really a guess, is it? It's just obvious. Let's go to the other tower while we're up here. That's pretty powerful, I will say, and the shower has a lot of life as well, so I, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to Drew. Oh, we're here. Okay, that's the shortcut we could have taken, but I'm fine with the way we went about this place. I, I love how expansive this map is and how many different routes there are. It's really nice. Big old sandbox area where you can run around and go uh, additional routes. You can tell the devs really like put their time into this map. And this is only one area too, so I don't know how big this game is going to be, but this is really impressive. This is, it's really cool so far, I will say. I don't want to end the cover here though, I want to get to wherever the hell is at the end of this area. I'm intrigued, one might even say. I mean, I've got my cool coconut shell now, and I want to use it wherever I can. Like, a shell with less durability has its uses of the party hat but also this is this bowls i can get a strike of this well more like a par par that's golf balls flower spare there you go <laughs> listen sports is not my forte hi i'm glad he's still getting the money for that by the way well, listen, now, uh, unfortunate. I love how fast the attack is on here. Wait, why can't you attack that fast while you're off the board? Wait. Can I use this? No. Maybe. No. Maybe. That's really good. And it stuns them too. Ah, oh, that's great. I don't want this shell to ever break. Hey, what I can do right now though. Bunch on this. Get my health back. Bada boom. That's great. What a great little system. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy your death. 
Shortcut, bolt cut. Yeah. Even that shortcut game. Finally. I was wondering if I was ever going to get a hit of that, and I did, finally, at the end. I don't, there must be something at the bottom of here. Uh, there is not. Well, there's my loot that I could probably go pick up. My loot! Nor me. This is, a, this is revenge. Okay, you know what? Goodbye. <laughs> Yay! Enjoy your trip, buddy. Oh, he's gone. I'd like, I'd like to imagine that they just float forever and they end up somewhere lovely. Where do all these corpses go that we hear? Also, it's a very nice touch that they do float away. Like the water physics in this game are surprisingly good. What is that over there? Like a coral reef? I smell a boss fight coming up. But if I was a boss fight, I'd put a checkpoint before it. Well, this game kind of does the shrines of Maria, which I do appreciate, by the way. What's this? An actual chest? <gasps> wow! Yay! This game is kind of Metroidvania-esque as well because you get the little heart upgrades. That's lovely. Okay, hi. Uh, there's many ways I can go here, huh? Uh, no, there's, uh, there's one. No, there's literally one. <laughs> uh, the, the, I thought there would be multiple choice. Yeah, these urchins are everywhere. Roll out. Oh, crab. Ow. No, my shell. My coconut. You asshole. I'm going to lose it forever. Let's swap it now before we actually lose it, shall we? Hi. These guys' attacks are surprisingly difficult to dodge. You'd be surprised. But they're very erratic and they're, and they're slow. And sometimes attacks being slower and delayed in ring is sometimes worse to deal with. I do also appreciate that the enemies sometimes give you heart, like, uh, like uh, potion drops. It makes going for these long stretches a little bit less painful. I don't think we need to go over here. Unless there's new items over here, that is. This is where I got my grappler hook the first time. No, it's not over here. We're good. We can go this way instead. Probably not that way either. Oh, okay. Oh, good, good job, camera. Good job, camera. Can we not do that, please? Oh, good. Oh yeah, the camera is really fucking me over in this game. I'm losing a little bit of your ability from doing that every time. I don't know. Anyway, let's open the door. Shortcut discovered. Uh, boss fight. I smell it. It's coming up. <gasps> oh, wherever that's going to be. I assume a hub world maybe at some point. Yeah, yeah, boss fight. Yeah, boss fight. Okay, let's go back. I have no means of going back, really. Well, hold on, isn't the shortcut around here somewhere? It's up there. Uh... It's kind of a short... Oh, hello. Hello. Kind of a shortcut. I got my coconut again now, so I'm very happy. Alright, so we're going to level up. Uh, let's do another attack. And if I could, I'll do another vitality. <laughs> I like having vitality. It's very important to me that I have it. Anyway, let's go and fight the boss. Yes, we've got a coconut for this. Probably the best one in my opinion so far. It has a lot of ability. The attack is very good and precise. Well, when you're not in like close quarters. And it's just fun to use. It was like the party popper, but good 
and has good durability. Like, the pipe is, like, all cosmetic. It looks cool, but it isn't great. Anyway, we're gonna fire you, aren't we? I got the pearl for you, your hey, majesty. I don't know if you noticed, also, there's voice acting in this game. I forgot to there. make sure because this is the first voice acting oh, cutscene. Little hermit. <sighs> Our minds are clear as crystal now. Are you, like, getting offended by the actions? I once thought my duchy quite beautiful, you know. Worth preserving. The fucking the rent and, like, capitalism changed. angle was all just a ploy to get us into the actual Dark Souls plot. To wash away. That's why I'm having them tear it down. I thought my beauty worth preserving, too. But of course, my worthless life will wash away as easily as any other. Almost as easily as your little hermit! <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. Roll out. Stop it. Stop puking all over the place. It's disgusting. Uh, the music right now is bop. Oh, shit. That was an aggro move. I couldn't even see it. Oh. I mean, I can after you punch me in the face. Oh, I, 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 uh, I enjoy the, uh, the little checkpoints you get. That's a nice little touch. Oh, but my. Oh, they're right there. Why died? Okay. Great quality of life so far. This is this is a good hook too for the game's like actual story. It's great. What the fuck? This game like a masterpiece. One. Don't bath. Oh, that was good damage. Oh, when you power you, I can look back on her. I guess that's the, the intent of the power you in this game, right? Yeah, when he does that, I think he's gonna start to do that red move. No, he isn't doing it though. Okay, now, now you're doing it. I'm wary of it, because it does all my HP basically. Okay, now, now, now. No, okay. Okay, get away. There's not many good options to get away from enemies in this game, really. You can't just run backwards. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was fun. Never do that again. Okay, I dodged a aggro move at least. Yeah, you're puking all over the place. It's disgusting. Don't pick on me. Yeah. Oh god, I got a bit of chain. Okay, I need another thing, so give me a sec. Ow! Heal! Oh my god. Okay, we might die here. Yeah! 
Yeah, also just bath all over the screen, good. It's gonna go grab this. Sand beneath the tide. You'll see one day. Okay. I thought this was gonna be like one of the last boss, so then it's better to be the second boss. So we get enemies in front of you with a massive swipe of a dung dunganess crab crab's claw, causing them to briefly take increased damage from more sources. And that adaptation, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's this. It's a lone shark. This is the guy you saw on our shell. Holy oh, only. That was a hell of a fight, kid. You. You were watching the whole thing? Yes, it was too much to ask that the soldiers caught you. You chuck. Bah, no such luck. I hit as soon as everything started going crazy. There's a way whenever it picks a fight, he doesn't have to. You can learn a thing or two from a guy like me. Wow. Now the duchesses. No. I like how this game doesn't shy away from death. Like a lot of. Characters have died so far in this game. <laughs> Give me my shell back. You have no reason to keep it anymore, right? Hmm. This old thing? You know, I can barely remember how I got my fins on it any anymore. I think I'm about to go pawn it off in the big city. I think it a few microplastics. What? You can't do that. I said I can do whatever you can get away with, kid. Leave me a new ca ca cast in here. Like, car like, oh my god, that's great. If you want to buy this bad boy back from me, if no one else buys it back first, that is. No! When I get my hands on that guy, you'll become a heart and like a tenors. What is this angle we're having right now? We're gonna find a way after him. Oh, it looks like the mystery continues. You have your first adaptation. An attack learned from a powerful creature that could be used even with our shell equipped. Use it if our tier the cost of a money charges. Well. God damn. That's what I'm gonna call it. That was awesome. I enjoyed that a lot. I think this indie game is fantastic. It has a few issues in terms of the combat for me anyway. It's a Souls-like. So there were going bound to be a few issues. But for a first time, and like for how creative and unique it is, it is excellent. I think this might be the favorite it, quick I've done recently. Outside of maybe End of Lilies. Because that was excellent as well. So I, I don't know. I, it, it's an issue that I'm playing the best games on the Quick Harvest. I don't really want to do games I'm not going to enjoy, so I don't know. But that's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see if we have a next group is going to be soon. Goodbye.